Uh, yeah, I went down and I threw between innings when there was the long innings. I mean, you always love to have offense behind you, uh, so can't complain too much. But definitely not ideal, but felt great and it was good to get back out there. What's that road to recovery kind of been like um, coming back and, and how special of an evening was this for you? It's been a roller coaster, a lot of ups and a lot of downs. I mean, you look forward to all the big things like throwing for the first time after you have surgery, then getting on the mound after the first time for the first time. And uh, tonight was really special. The conditions and everything wasn't great, but still it was my first game back, so it was, it was really special. Was there a desire to play after that third inning, or was it like you knew your time, you knew you had played enough? And you knew well, we have a, had a set pitch count, and because of the long innings and everything, we felt like uh, I had done enough for the night, and uh, we just called it from there and made a decision together that that would be the end of my outing. Do you think after two would be the end with how long things were going? Um, it definitely crossed my mind, but uh, we had said before that inning even started that I was going to go back out there, so uh, we just went with it. Did you like the stuff that you had? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, fastball got away from me a couple times just because the nerves and a little bit. I was getting a little bit too excited and getting overthrowing a little bit, but uh, off speed felt good, and uh, once I kind of settled in, my fastball came. What does a win like that do for confidence? I mean, it's actually my first win, so uh, it does a whole lot. And coming out here after sitting out for almost a year, uh, it's great to get a win. And um, my teammates have my back. My uh, Hunter called a great game. And, uh, of course, the offense produced. So it was great. Have you and the coaching staff discussed perhaps a plan for stretching you out and going longer as a game? If so, uh, what do you, what's that going to look like? Going so forward? basically we're going to build up by 10% of uh, my last outing as far as pitches go. Um, I, my pitch count today was 50, and we'll just go 10% from there. And it's like plus minus five, so. Yeah, it feel, always feels great to be able to consistently find barrels, whether it's one night or another. Um, it starts with the guys who get on base in front of you to get, you get you some pitches to work with, and it makes it easier when everyone's firing on all cylinders. You're going through that first, and every single box is getting squiggled in because you're scoring runs on every at bat. Is there a is there kind of a vibe in the dugout of you don't want to be that first guy to get the out? <laughs> yeah, that's always a running joke in those innings that take a while. That that first out, or occasionally the guy that makes two outs in one inning. But no, it's it's all fun in games. What's uh. Is it a little bit hard once you get past those first two innings to make sure you kind of keep the same approach, make at bats matter, make reps matter because it it's so out of hand? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're the games that you just got to stay focused. Like, you can have fun with it, but in the end, every pitch counts and every game counts. So, got to make sure you take care of business. Uh, what does it say about these fans that were out here? I know a lot of the players said that. It's kind of a brutal weather to be out here playing, and what does it mean to those guys who are, 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 are y'all in the dugout saying these guys are crazy? <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, it's good to see fans show up, whether it's sunny and 75 or if it's 48 and misting. But it's always nice to know that they're gonna they're gonna be there no matter what the conditions are. When you're on your second or third out bat in an, in an inning, what is like? Is that feeling like okay, here we go again? Like... <laughs> yeah, and I mean that's always a good thing though if you're. If you have 17 runs in one inning, you're never going to complain about it. So you're always grateful for opportunities. Second inning and it's cold and it's misty. How hard is it to kind of make sure that you're focusing on that approach and finishing out the game, getting good rest? I mean, it's a little difficult, but you just got to get everybody in the game in the dugout with good intent and have the right attitude to come out and play hard. What, uh, uh, what was kind of the key to, to making sure that you kept going through those innings? And was it kind of in the dugout that the, you don't want to be that guy that gets the first out? I mean, not really. I think everybody did a good job staying in the game. And it's, I mean, certainly hard weather like this. Nobody really wants to be out here. It's cold, rainy. Not, it's definitely not baseball weather, but I mean, we just good, did a good job overall. So, What's the energy like uh, in, a, in the dugout when you score 17 runs in one inning? I mean, it's definitely a plus as an offensive standpoint compared to, uh, I mean, it's definitely on our side. So. <laughs> So, I mean, everybody's happy that our offense is going. And, uh, of course, the pitchers are happy, too, because it makes their job a whole lot easier. You talk about not being want to be out here with this weather and cold and just those conditions. Do you all look up at some of the people up in the stands and think those guys are crazy? <laughs> yeah, we were talking that, about that before the game. We're like, man, we really got some real fans. It's a lot different coming like as a freshman seeing that because coming from high school, nobody would be at a game like this. So it's pretty cool having fans that are that dedicated. How hard is it to stay in a rhythm whenever you had two long sits like that, 10 runs and 17 runs in back-to-back -back innings? I mean, it's 
it's hard. It's just still everybody's got to stay in the game. Stay. There's minds got to be in the right place, and just got to go back out there and do your job.